What's going on YouTube? JT is reborn here and welcome back to another DC Comics news and update type video. And we got some breaking news. Uh, the new trailer for Constantine House of Mystery just dropped on IGN today and there's a little bit of a surprise in there. That's right if you're looking at the title of this video. The DC AMU has officially returned in some sort of capacity. So this is technically a follow-up to the events of Justice League Dark Apocalypse War because in the middle of this trailer they show footage from Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. It's only about like three seconds of footage but it's something. It's the first acknowledgement of a continuation of that universe since that movie ended back in 2020. You know, it's kind of weird. I was thinking about the movie just like the other day and I'm just like wondering if they're going to ever continue it. And then just as soon as I do, something like this pops up like right out of nowhere. It's like, it's like almost like a psychic premonition that I had, but like it's, um, in, in some weird capacity like i said just it's odd i was just thinking about this um the other day and then all of a sudden like today we got something but like i said um it's gonna be one of those dc showcase shorts and it's basically just john constantine is there and he's playing a little bit of a card game something's going wrong um and john constantine's kind of abused his power and it's left the consequences and some sort of major repercussions on the DC almost like multiverse is going to be trapped in the house of mystery going forward. What is this about? Wait for it. Right there. That shot looks familiar. That shot looks familiar. And that shot there looks very familiar. So there we go. I mean, the animation is different than what's going on with the Constantine stuff, but there it is new like a new DC property with footage from the events of Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. I did not expect this today. I like I said, like I didn't know if they were going to continue it, but here it is. This is going to be a continuation. It's following up on the events of that movie and it's going to be done in some sort of showcase short. So I'm really excited. I wonder what this means going forward. Now, I've been hearing rumors about like a Crisis on Infinite Earths like three-part like animated movie series going to come up. So I, maybe that'll cross over the DC AMU with the DC AU and then you've had other things that have kind of crossed over a bit like what was it Teen Titans versus Teen Titans Go, or something like that, had like a brief cameo from some of this universe. Uh, you have the Bruce Tim DC animated universe there. There's DC AU and DC AMU. So, and then you got the new current Archer series, as I like to call it, with that uh, starting with Superman Man of Tomorrow, Just Society, World War II. And then you also had um, the Long Halloweens Parts 1 and 2. Now, I haven't really been excited about a lot of the new animated stuff that's kind of come out for a while. Uh, the just like Superman Man of Tomorrow was just all right. Um, didn't care much for that. Our Justice Society World War II, another one that was just kind of forgettable. Long Halloween parts one and two was pretty boring for the most part, I thought. And Injustice just was just kind of a big disappointment of an animated movie for me personally. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's just, I haven't really had anything to really get excited about since post apoc uh, Just like Dark Apocalypse War. Like I said, even before that, there were still some like offshoot animated movies that I could get excited for, but uh, now it feels like we're getting some sort of follow-up on that ending, and that has me intrigued, has me a little bit excited to see where they go from here. Um, it, like I said, this is going to be a Constantine-focused thing, but I feel like it's going to leave hints to a larger plotline that's going to be kind of coming out, because, like I said, there's been rumors about a Crisis on Infinite Earths thing, and I think maybe they're going to draw all the different universes and kind of put them together in some epic mashup crossover thing for DC Animation. So, I'm excited about that. I'm glad we're getting acknowledgement of this universe again. So, in some capacity, this is a continuation of the ending of Apocalypse War, so... I don't know what's going to happen going forward. I see the animation style change. Will these characters show up in the movie? I mean, they're being shown in this trailer here, so it, it's got to mean something. So, like like I said, this is a pretty, pretty big deal that they dropped, like, Apocalypse War footage in this thing because we were always told that was going to be the end of it all. But now, it seems something's kind of coming up here. And also, Matt Ryan is back to voice Constantine. So, like I said, it's going to be him kind of, like, dealing with Trapped in the House of Mystery, dealing, like, in different, like, gods in the universe and stuff. dealing with demons matt ryan like i said is a perfect john constantine like he is just excellent in the role and i just am i'm very excited to see this thing like i said i liked um i like matt ryan i think he's the perfect john constantine and like in live action and in animation and the fact that we're getting a follow-up to the dc amu has me more intrigued and excited than i was before even i didn't even know about this thing's existence so it's gonna be some sort of short it's gonna be released sometime this year um, it just says look for it on Blu-ray and DVD sometime this year. Um, also, one other rant. I hate these stupid annotation things at the end of videos. I wish I could just, like, find some way to kind of, like, get rid of it. Maybe, 
get rid of them because like they block half the screen so you can't really see anything you're trying to look at the screen it's like oh no this this thing is blocking the video no get this off the screen there should be a way to like a settings to kind of take them off or whatever but that's just me but anyways i'm excited to see this thing we're gonna be, we're, we're coming back we're getting a continuation we're gonna get some sort of follow-up and acknowledgement of the existence of these characters so there's that all right well um if you guys have any thoughts on it tell me them in the comment section down below be sure to like this video share it with your friends subscribe to the youtube channel for more content i don't know what this means going forward in terms of dc animation but for the first time in quite a long time i am really excited to see where we go from here it feels like it's been a kind of a good weekend for dc stuff peacemaker just kind of ended and uh with season one i thought that was really really good and had me excited for like what happens next in terms of dc stuff so i'm we're on a bit of a hot streak right now and that's good that's good and then we got new comic book week this week although we did have a bit of a downfall with the comiXology app just being completely overhauled and it's a disaster there so i might make a video on that so more stuff coming up all right so yeah that's all i gotta say feels good to be talking about this stuff again i'm getting flat i'm getting like nostalgic for 2020 even though that's not really a great <laughs> year for most people it was good for the channel like it was fun talking about like apocalypse war and getting you know excited about all that stuff so now i'm intrigued now i feel like the excitement's kind of coming back to me for the first time in a long time so yeah good year for dc stuff all right well that's all i got to say uh subscribe to the youtube channel for more content like this video share with your friends and uh yeah as always take care now bye bye then and i will see you all in the next video tell me your thoughts down below peace